Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I like to make my amaretto semifredo. Now, basically, a semifredo, which I've done a couple of recipes here before, maybe just one, I can't really remember. It's a form of ice cream cake, or ice cream really, that just means semi-frozen, so it's got a really luscious, velvety, just incredible texture and flavor to it. I'm gonna flavor mine today using amaretto, which is an, an almond liqueur, but you can omit it if you want to and just make a standard vanilla, or you can use whatever other liqueur you want. You can use a hazelnut if you want to, you can use a little bit of brandy. I mean, the world is your pickle. If you don't wanna use any, don't. If you wanna use some, mix and match. So whatever, you, whatever floats your boat. Let's run you through the ingredients, which are very, very minimum. You need some heavy whipping cream, egg yolks, this is my amaretto, you need granulated sugar and some vanilla extract. I also have a small pinch of salt in the sugar and that's really about it. So it's really easy and really delicious. I'm actually gonna doctor up some caramel sauce later with a little bit more amaretto just to give it another layer of flavor. And I'm gonna drizzle it on top with some toasted almonds and it is just phenomenal. Let's get started. I've got a saucepan, so if you have a double boiler, then you know how it works. But this is how you make a double boiler, basically. You have a saucepan, you just fill it up with a little bit of water and you bring that to a simmer. And then you just wanna make sure that whatever saucepan you're using, you have a bowl that's heat proof that can go directly on top of it without it wobbling and it fits well, just like this one does. So that works well. Now I'm gonna need my handheld whisk to do the whipped cream and the custard pour, you know, the mixing of the eggs, the whisking of the eggs. But I don't wanna do the eggs first because then I have to wash my whisk. My whisk. So I'm gonna do the heavy cream first. And all I'm I'm going to do is whisk this until it develops really nice and stiff peaks. That looks exactly how I want it to. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just set this aside. Whoa! That scared me. <laughs> I thought the eggs were going to go rolling. Get it? Never mind. <laughs> All right, so in a different bowl, this is the bowl you're going to put on top of your saucepan. You need to add your egg yolks and your sugar. And I also, like I said before, have a small pinch of salt in there. Because remember, salt is a flavor enhancer, so it actually makes everything taste better like itself. So this tastes actually sweeter because the salt's in there, because it really kind of opens up your, it just, it makes everything taste better. Let's leave it at that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk these for about three minutes or until they're really nice and pale in color. All right. This looks great. You can see it's got a lot lighter in color. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this over top of my double boiler. You can see the water is not at a rolling boil. It's just kind of simmering. You can see little bubbles at the very bottom. And that's because you don't want this at too high of a heat because it can scorch the bottom of the egg yolks. And you don't want that. And this needs to cook for about 10 minutes or so. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Oh, and you have to waste the whole time, obviously. Look how gorgeous that is. After 10 minutes, it's perfect. It almost looks like it's doubled in volume. That's what you want. Now is the time where I add my amaretto because I don't want to, you know, cook away all the uh, flavor and alcohol. But like I said, you can leave it out if you want to. And a small splash of vanilla. And then just kind of whisk that in. And now what I do is I just strain it because you want to, just in case there's any curdled eggs or anything like that, you kind of want to get rid of that. Okay, because it can happen. Make sure you just scrape it all out. You know, it can happen because it gets so hot while you're cooking it for so long, even though you are constantly whisking it. See, it even happens to me. See that? You don't want any of those bits. That's why you discard. All right, and now all you do is you, little by little, just fold this into your heavy whipped cream. And now you pour this mixture in an eight by four uh, like loaf pan. And as you can see, what I've done to my loaf pan is I have lined it really uh, generously with plastic wrap so that the plastic wrap overhangs. And that's because look, what you do at this point is you just fold the plastic wrap over like so. And now I'm just gonna pop this into the freezer overnight to set it completely, and you're done. It's that easy, and it's so good. All right, semi Fredo was in the freezer overnight, and now all I need to do, this is why it's so easy if you just line your pan with the plastic, because it literally just comes 
right off like so. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous color. That is what you are looking for. Now what I have here is some caramel sauce. You can use store-bought or homemade. You don't have to do this at all, at all. But you know, I like to put things over the edge just a little bit. And I have it coming up to a simmer. You just want to loosen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of amaretto to it. Oop, just touched my, a little bit of amaretto because I just want that flavor to come through. And I'm gonna turn that off, just like so. And then ideally, you let that cool down just a little bit. Let me show you what else I have here. I have some toasted, these are some toasted chopped um, almonds, because get it, amaretto, I want it all to kind of flow. And then you just take a little bit of this caramel. You want to do it probably when, like I said, when it's cooling, when it cools a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. You just drizzle it like that, and you serve the rest on the side, right? And then you will sprinkle it. You can see it's starting to kind of melt just a little bit. And now, semi freddo just means semi um, semi cold, so it's semi frozen. So it's not going to be as hard um, of texture like ice cream, like traditional ice cream. It's much more luscious. It's much more soft. It's phenomenal. I am just going to steal the spoon. My house, my rules. And I'm just going to go right for a little bit back here. A little caramel. Mm. That is very, very hard to beat with any other ice cream. What's to die for? I quit. That is a money maker, and you need to go get the recipe, alarainthekitchen.com. Please make it this weekend. It's worthy of definitely sharing before the summer comes to an end. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'm just gonna, you know, watch the next one. Bye.